once again at East Temptation to declare that Jesus Christ loves you and is concerned over your life. That's why we are here to declare that God loves you and there is a God who loves you unconditionally and his name is Jesus. He suffered and he died for you on the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood and he wants to be your friend. He is a true friend who will never leave you nor will he forsake you. And that's why today Jesus loves you very much and that's why we are concerned over your soul. The Bible says what a man if you profit he gains the whole world or what a man can give an exchange of his soul. The life in which we are living, we are living a life full of darkness. We are living a life of wickedness and evil. Because the Bible says for all have sinned and fall shortage of the glory of God. No one is righteous, no one is holy, no one is good and we believe that Jesus is coming at any time. Because Jesus Christ died for your sins on the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood and he rose from the dead and he's alive and he's coming back. And that's why today we are here to declare the love of God. We love you very much and we are concerned over your soul. Because the Bible says, what a man, if you profit, he gains the whole world. Or what a man can give an exchange his soul. Only Jesus can save you, my brother, my sister. No one else can save you. Because Jesus Christ is a savior, he's a messiah, and he's a soon coming king. Jesus Christ did not come for religion. We are not here to promote religion. We are here to say about the relationship that once was there. In the Garden of Eden, it was Adam that sinned against God, and that's how sin came. For everyone is a sinner. No one is righteous, my brother. No one is holy. No one is good and no one is perfect. That's why we need God. God loves you very much and that's why he is concerned over your soul. Because life is not sure. Life is not guaranteed. One thing, death will come anytime. You cannot cheat death. You can cheat people. You can manipulate. You can do any law stuff. But you cannot cheat death. Death can come anytime from now. You can die today. You can die tomorrow. You can die very young. You can die very old. Even the NHS was there. They could not do anything when the coronavirus came. People died during the time of the NHS. And we all know that story. Because life and death is not in the hands of the NHS. It's in the hands of God. Only God determines how long you're going to live and how long you're going to die. My brother, my sister, every day we see people dying. Every day we see people are dying. They commit suicide. They are killed. You know, many things. They die in the war. They die of starvation. They commit suicide. Because life is not guaranteed. Life is not sure. We're living in a wicked world. We're living in an evil world. We're living in a dark world. And that's why Jesus Christ came. The, now, life is in the hands of God. God is the one who created. My brother, my sister, and that's what you need to understand. Because only God can save you. That's why, that's why God can save you. That's why one thing you need to understand. That's why 50,000 people died. If the NHS could have saved the people, they would all have been alive today. But one thing you need to understand, my brother, my sister, it was God. God only can save your life. Only God can save you from hellfire. Only God can save you from condemnation. Only God can save you from going to hell. Because heaven is a beautiful place. And today, my brother, my sister, many people don't understand of life eternal. But the Bible speaks of two places when a person dies. One is called heaven and one is called hell. And God doesn't want you to land up in hell. Hell is not a place for you. It is for Satan and his fallen angels. But heaven is a beautiful place. And how can you make it to heaven? By accepting Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. By confessing your sins. Uh, by believing in the name of Jesus Christ. By getting baptized, you can make it to heaven. Heaven is for everyone. It is not for religion. My brother, heaven is for everyone. It's an inv open invitation for everyone. And only God can save your soul. Come today to Jesus. He's calling you my name. We are running out of time. Any time from now, you can die. You can die tonight in your bed. You can die while you are young. You can die tomorrow. Anytime, anything can happen. Life is not guaranteed. You yourself are not guaranteed. How long can you live? NHS cannot guarantee how long you can live. But God can think. My brother, my sister, and that is what. Only life and death is in the hands of God. And only God can preserve your life. Come today to Jesus. He is calling you by name. Come today, my brother, my sister. Do not be deceived by the devil. Do not be deceived by the devil. Say that you don't need God. But there is a God who loves you. There is a God who is concerned over you. There is a God who cares for you. There is a God who can heal you of your sickness. There is a God who can heal you of depression. There is a God who can heal you of anxiety. There is a God who can heal you of mental health. There is a God who loves you very much and his name is Jesus. My brother, my sister, come today. Jesus is calling you my name because he loves you and is concerned over your soul. Come today. Don't think of tomorrow. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Yourself is not guaranteed that tomorrow morning you will wake up. And you will go to work. You're not guarantee of tomorrow. If you die tonight and without Jesus Christ, you will land up in hellfire. That's for guarantee. Come today, my brother, my sister. Jesus loves you very much. He's calling you by name because he loves you. That's why we love you. 
come today don't think of tomorrow you are not guarantee of tomorrow morning that you will wake up and you will go to work you are not guarantee that tomorrow morning you will wake up and you will go to school life is in the hands of god because you have been created by god with a plan and a purpose it is not science that created you it is not the theory of evolution that created you it is god himself created you in the womb of your mother the bible says naked you came from the womb of your mother so naked you will go back you will go back to the dust from where you have come but what is going to happen to your soul my brother my sister many people they don't understand what is going to happen but the bible speak of life eternal and that life eternal is only jesus christ can give you that's why jesus christ died for you on the cross of calvary you can close your ears now but when you die and land up in hell fire then you will understand come today because in hell there is no repentance in hell there is no mercy in hell there is no forgiveness but jesus is ready to forgive you jesus is ready to forgive all your sins my brother my sister because you and i we all are sinners the bible says for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of god you have sinned from the day you are being created you are born with sin and that's where jesus christ came for sinners like you and me that's where jesus christ was known as the friend of sinners and today he is a friend who lives closer than a brother he is a true friend who will never leave you nor will he forsake you and his love is unconditional his love is everlasting he demonstrated his love by dying for you on the cross of calvary by shedding his precious blood and jesus is coming back very soon he is coming for you he is coming for me no matter whoever you may be does not matter whether you may be a millionaire you may be a celebrity you may be the prime minister whoever you may be does not matter but one thing you will die in your sins one day you will die in your sins and you will die and you will be buried but the question is after you die where will you go come today yeah, you have yeah, anything you can talk there yeah? i am going to go you can go you, you can go that that's about depend on you no we don't give you the mic for what no 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 you don't have to say one thing no yeah don't disturb me you can go over there yeah and jesus is coming back very soon my brother my sister come today do not delay come today we are running out of time life is very short on this planet earth you cannot cheat her death her. come today he is calling you by name jesus loves you very much my brother my sister he concern over your life only he can change your life he can change your story he can heal you of your sickness and he can heal you of your disease he can do a miracle because the bible speaks uh, there are 36 miracles that are being recorded uh, in the four gospels which are written uh, in the bible and we know that jesus christ has performed miracles he healed the sick he cured the lepers he casted out demons and he raised the dead and that's what even jesus can do today because he is the same god yesterday today and forever and he loves you very much because you and i we are in the image and in the likeness of god he looks into your heart my brother my sister come today today is your day today is your time give your life to jesus because salvation is free it is not sold in the market it is not bought in the market it is given free to each one of us my brother my sister that whoever accept him he has given power to be called the child of god you are a child of god you belong to god god loves you very much come today to jesus he is inviting you come today and give your life to jesus give your soul to jesus my brother don't be deceived by the devil the devil says oh you don't need god but there is a god who loves you and his name is jesus christ and is coming back very soon for you and for me we are living in a world of confusion we are living in a dark world we are living in a wicked world we are living in an evil world wherever you see there is wickedness wherever you see there is evil wherever you see there is darkness come there is no more love wherever you see people are killing one another wherever you see the crime right is more wherever you see people are committing suicide wherever you see there are wars wherever you see there are earthquakes wherever you see there are famines wherever you see the love has become cold there is no more love but there is only hatred there is only bitterness there is only jealousy come today god loves you very much and that's what we can assure you we can assure you a place in heaven no one can assure you this world can give you everything this world can give you everything but they cannot give you life eternal because life eternal is given only by god that's why he is known as the savior because jesus christ came to save and seek the lost he came for you he came for me he came for everyone and he loves you very much that's why he is concerned over your soul come today my brother my sister god loves you very much and that's why we are demonstrating the love of god my brother my sister we are not here to promote religion because religion will take us nowhere we are not a religious person we are not a spiritual person over here come 
Come today, Holy Jesus is going to come. Holy Jesus died for you on the cross of Calvary. And Holy Jesus is going to come back. No one else is going to come back. No king is going to come back. No prime minister is going to come back. No president is going to come back. No prophet is going to come back. Because no one died for you. It's only Jesus who died for you on the cross of Calvary. My brother, my sister, history speaks uh, that there was a person 2024 years back who came and who lived on this planet Earth. There is record of the person. There is historical history about the person called Jesus. My brother, my sister. We are living not in a fantasy world. We are living in a world of reality. Whether you believe it or you don't believe it, that's up to you. The decision you make, uh, the choice you make will determine uh, whether you will make it to heaven or whether you will make it to hell. Because life is very short. Your life is very short, my brother, my sister. Any time from now you can die. You may be young, you may be old, you may be healthy, you may be strong, you may be going to the gym, you may be eating healthy food, does not matter. Because life and death is in the hands of God. When your time is over, you will die. You cannot cheat death. You can cheat people, but you cannot cheat death. Death will automatically come. Look at the people who died in the coronavirus. Look at the people who die every minute and every second. People are dying in the whole world. Every day, every minute you see a person is dying. Where is the soul going? My brother, my sister. That's why today we are concerned. That's why we are here preaching the gospel. Because the Bible says that this gospel has to be preached before the coming of our Lord and our Savior Jesus Christ. Anytime from now, he is coming. He loves you very much. He doesn't want your soul to perish. You may be traveling in a car. You may be traveling in a bus. You may be busy with your life. You may be busy going to the pub, going to the club making new friends, going to the disco, going to the football match and watching and enjoying your life as your best. But the next minute you die, where are you going, my brother, my sister? Where are you going? Where are you going? Because everyone is in a spiritual journey. Everyone is in a journey and the journey will come to an end. When will the journey come to an end? When you will die. My brother, my sister, come today. God loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. Because there is only one person who is concerned over you. Day and night, who thinks about you day and night, and his name is Jesus. He loves you, and that's why today we are here to declare the love of God. We are here to declare the love of Jesus. Only Jesus can save your soul from condemnation. Only Jesus can save your soul from hellfire because hell was not made for you, it was made for Lucifer and his fallen angels when they rebelled against God, against God in heaven. Hell was created for them. Heaven is a beautiful place. Heaven is for you and for me. Heaven is not for religion. Heaven is for everyone. My brother, my sister, whether you are Hindu, whether you are Sikh, whether you are a Muslim, whether you are an atheist, whether you are a Catholic, heaven is for everyone. Heaven is a place for everyone. It has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with your tradition. It has nothing to do with your beliefs. Come today. Jesus has promised you a place called heaven. Heaven is a beautiful place. It is for you and it is for me. And how can you make you to heaven? By accepting your sins, uh, by confessing your sins, uh, by repenting and coming back to God. God loves you. He will forgive you. He will forgive of every sin. There is not a sin on this planet earth uh, that Jesus cannot forgive. Because Jesus Christ came to forgive sinners. He came for sinners like you and me. That's why they gave a title to Jesus. He was known as the friend of sinners. My brother, my sister, his friends were prostitutes. Uh, his friends were alcoholics. Uh, his friends were drug addicts. Uh, come today. Jesus can deliver you from drugs. Jesus can deliver you from alcoholism. Jesus can deliver you from pornography. Jesus can deliver you from gambling. He can set you free. My brother, my sister, it's time to clean up the mess. It is time to clean up your life. Come. Stop sinning against God. Stop lying against God. Stop manipulating against God. Come today, my brother, my sister. God loves you very much. God loves you very much. God loves the way you are. He's concerned over your life. He loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much. That's why we are here to preach about Jesus Christ. We are not here to promote religion. Religion will take us nowhere. We are not religious person over here. We are here to preach about Jesus. Because Jesus only is going to come. He's coming anytime from now. He can come even tonight. Are you ready when Jesus is going to come? My brother, my sister, we are running out of time. Do not be fooled. Do not be fooled, my brother, my sister. Do not be fooled. Do not be confused. Come today. Come today and accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. Come today and accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior. He will save your soul. Only Jesus can save your soul. Come today. Even in the last moment, He can save your soul, my brother, my sister. Do not delay, but come today. Because Jesus Christ loves you and is concerned over your soul. 
Come today. Will you accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior? Come today. Don't think of tomorrow. Tomorrow is not guaranteed, my brother, my sister. Come today while there is light. Come today while there is hope. And only Jesus can give you hope. For every person there is a problem. But for every problem there is a solution. And the solution is Jesus Christ. Come today. Come today people of his time. Because God loves you very much. God loves you very much. Jesus loves you very much my brother. That's what we are to declare the love of Jesus. There is a person who loves you very much. And his name is Jesus sir. He demonstrated his love by dying on the cross of Calvary by shedding his precious blood and he's coming back any tomb. And how can you make you to heaven uh, by forgiving, by asking for forgiveness of sins, uh, by repenting and accepting your sins and coming back? Uh, Jesus will accept you the way you are. Jesus will accept you like how we accepted the prodigal son. Come today. Don't think of tomorrow, my brother, my sister, because tomorrow will be later. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Come today. Well, there is hope. Come today when there is light. And Jesus Christ is the light of the world. That whoever follows him shall not walk into darkness, but shall walk in the light. Come today. And God bless you. Amen. You don't do that.